Hey guys, uh, a quick kit review for the Airfix 172nd uh, RAF bomber resupply set. A uh, new, new set that's just been uh, released alongside the, the Lancaster Mark II which is on the box art with it. Um, a great idea, I, uh, as soon as I saw this one coming out as well, said previous in another video I bought this uh, alongside the Lancaster. I have ideas for a diorama uh, for the Lancaster so I mean this will just enhance it uh, a hundredfold. Um, but as usual really nice box art on the uh, uh, on the box. Uh, typical airfix really. Really nice looking uh, you know, you've got close-ups of some of the uh, uh, the vehicles when they're made. And then on the back, you've got a representation of everything that the kit has to offer. One thing that I would say, which I will admit I missed the first time, probably because I wasn't looking properly. Um, everything on the back of the box, you can make. Uh, aside from the, the Bedford truck, those two, um, you have parts in the box to be able to build one of them. Uh, I bet, well, I'm sure everybody else noticed, but it, um, I think it's worth mentioning. Um, the truck itself and the cab are uh, the same for both. And then you have parts to either build one or the other. Uh, to finish it off, either the uh, like the canvas covered rear or the uh, the fuel uh, tanker uh, variant. Um, so whether that was just me being too excited and and not paying attention properly, looking at all the other bits that uh, you can make, but it is just one thing to uh, to uh, keep in mind. Um, the instructions, I won't bother showing the, the typical uh, Airfix instructions, nice and straightforward, nice and simple. Um, you have a split page for the Bedford, uh, which then gives you either A or B option to, to follow depending on which truck you uh, are going to build. There is an amendment sheet in the instructions, so there is, uh, and that is for the Bedford truck. Uh, there is an amendment that they've made after the original instructions obviously were printed. Uh, so you do need to follow. You do need to just uh, follow that amendment sheet for the various steps uh, that are, uh, are necessary. Um, but no, the you get uh, a good few screw, uh, sprues. Uh, each sprue is uh, separated into. Uh, particular vehicle, one or two vehicles. Um, this is this looks to be the Bedford truck actually, along with the motorcycle as well. Uh, one thing I noticed actually in the instructions first, uh, and then saw it on the sprues as well. They've actually weighted the wheels of the vehicles. So I know the Bedford truck, the uh, fuel bowser. Um, I'm not sure. I, th uh, I think. Let's check. Uh, I know some of the others. Um, yep, yeah, they've all they've got uh, weighted wheels. Um, I think the only two, for some reason, which aren't weighted particularly. Are the uh, they are to a degree, but not too, not too much. The the tractor wheels there's a there's a little um, weighting at the bottom, but obviously being I guess being such a large wheel, um, they've not put too much uh, too much weight onto them. But, uh, but no, it's um, nice clean sprues, there's very little flash, if any, that I've seen on them. Uh, a lot of detail, 
um, and a lot for your money. Um, there's a huge amount that you can make. You've got uh, the wheel chocks, the bombs, the bikes. Uh, there's a, a, a toolkit, uh, fuel jerry cans, bomb uh, containers. You've got the maintenance tower and the step ladders. So you can really uh, add a lot of dynamics to a diorama um, and it really does open up your imagination of, of what you can do. Um, it's, uh, I must admit, it's, uh, I was taken with it so much that I have actually ordered another one already. Um, the plans I have for some of this stuff uh, is to uh, go on to a um, a diorama with the Lancaster Mark II and when that's done if it turns out how I, how I hope uh, then it will be uh, a lot of this stuff is going to be uh, staying with that uh, so I've ordered another one one thing to keep in mind with a lot of this stuff was it was still in use into well into the 50s into the uh, Cold War era so there's an awful lot of kits out there uh, which will be relevant to a lot of these uh, a lot of these parts a lot of these uh, things so there's the clear sprue uh, it's pretty uh, clean you've got some uh, injector pin marks on the actual door panels which will be painted so they shouldn't cause too much trouble but um, they look they look pretty clean, they look pretty clear quite nice and bright so overall I, I am I'm really really impressed with this kit, really pleased with this kit and uh, just having a nosy through it has already given me plenty more ideas for, for other things um, there will be some great props for photo uh, like photo sessions that I'd like to do in the future with some of the other kits I have um, just to add a little more detail, add a little more interest to uh, 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 you know to, to photo projects of uh, some other sort of like World War Two and post World War Two uh, kits that I've got. But there we go. So um, I hope I haven't waffled on too long for my first kit review. Um, so take care, guys, and uh, I'll catch you again soon. Bye.